Hey, Dave Knight here at 123daytrade.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. You're looking behind the scenes right now. Um, I'm putting together my video, live trading video. It did hit today. The CL pit strategy did go to a three P target. Uh, the target was 67.63. It hit it. So once again, the CL pit strategy wins the day. Uh, three P move. So on. And what I'm going to get at, is, what I'm going to basically talk about in just a few minutes here, is even in a bad environment, you can still find something that works. And that something that works for me is my inventory strategy that I put together, CL Fit strategy that I've documented over the uh, the time period. Uh, April's been good. Uh, I, I, so today would have been roughly about 40 ticks, the 2P target, 3P with a 19, 20 ticks stop, hit. Uh, we would have probably been around, uh, say, 40, 35 minimum to around 45 win today, a tick gain. Uh, and then I think we pulled out 32 or 37 last week. Uh, and I can't remember what happened on the 4th. I think that might have been a loser, losing day. Uh, I don't remember. Uh, or I, I didn't trade it at all because I was waiting on the funded account, probably, I think. Uh, it's been not a lot of fun for me. It was eight trading days at, in the funded account, and I didn't have a good time. I, I've i talked about why I just didn't... <clears throat> you know, I'm a Christian, bottom line. And when I saw the 666 come in my account, I didn't want anything to do with it. And you can say for what you want about it, but I'm relieved that I'm no longer in that, no matter what happened. I mean, granted that it didn't go where I thought it was going to go today, and now it's trading 68.36. Um, I thought we would go back down and see 6677 today. And it's a shame that Mick couldn't take me up on that um, and have some fun. I'm actually... Pretty disappointed in, in Top Step Trader right now. That's that's kind of where I'm going with this talk right now. I'm not going to say anything negative or bad. I'm just disappointed with them. I'm disappointed in a bunch of different things. I'm disappointed that they made me trade the devil account to start with. Um, I'm, I'm disappointed that I failed the funded account. Um, I, I don't know if I would have made it or not outside of it, but I certainly didn't think it was fair that, that, um, that I had to trade something that I, I, I don't believe that I should have. I mean, you can call it an excuse. I, I really don't care which way, the, uh, one way or the other. But, you know, I, I think I'm more disappointed that that they didn't take me up on on redevelopment or, you know, just you you failed out of a rule, blah, blah, blah. You know, there was no, 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 um, I, I was within like five bucks of winning today. And one of the things that that happens One of the things that happens is that, that let me get my train of thought back. No, hold on that second. Let's get this video to start working. All right, so that project's being rendered right now. Um, one of the, uh, the, let me think what I was talking about here. Let's get back into the subject. I mean, I know I don't mean a hill of beans to a company that is a multi-million dollar company. But one of the rules inside the combine that's different uh, is max daily loss. And, excuse me, max trailing drawdown. In the combine, 
This is how fucked up the rules are at Top Step Trader. And one of the things that the fine print says is that in the combine, you can go, go below the 1500 as long as you finish above the 1500. So you can spend your whole time at, uh, uh, at, at the 30K combine. You can spend your whole time at 1,499, lose all the way during the day, and come back as long as you finish above 1,500 on a closing basis. You can you got the full $500 of drawdown to work with. In the funded account, if you hit your trailing stop loss, you're fucked. You're out of the account. So. What does that really mean? What it really means is that 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 another idiotic rule at Top Step Trader, because of they of, of, of the way that they view you and me as an inferior product, that they're not willing to take on that same risk that they have on the combine, to the same risk that they have in the funded. If but it should be one way or the other. It should be, it's both ways or not. I went in with the illogic thinking that as long as my account finished intraday above negative 1490, which is my max trailing stop loss, uh, a trailing uh, stop loss or, or max drawdown, as long as I finished above negative 1490, I still have the $500 available drawdown. What surprised me today was that I got knocked out and it, it maxed, and my account got blocked, reopened, and then blocked again. So that is what, and they're saying it's an automatic robot. No, it's not. Someone overrode the program, if there is a program, and then, and then, had it and then they overrode it again and then they closed it out. The video will clearly show that. It says blocked and then it opens up and then it says blocked again. Um, so bottom line is the the trade itself was a winner. Um, I lost though. And and that's that's on me. And it's on me to not know the rules too. So I'm not much in the fine print. If you've watched anything about me, man, I have a degree in accounting and I hate the balance moan checking book. You know, so uh, thank God for electronic checking right now uh, so that I can, I mean, honestly, I know where my account balance is within a dollar in any given day, but that's because of the numbers person that I am. But still, I still go back to my my main argument though. The main argument is would I be willing to risk in this case losing $1500 in real money versus versus uh, just losing 150 bucks is what it ended up being. So in other words the combine fee itself and I think I had a reset in there. So let's say it was 250. I think I was I'm out 250 of the original 1,000 that I withdrew from from them to start with. Uh, I believe that's where I am uh, for this year. So that's the only money that I've spent at, at Top Step Trader for the whole year and been able to get all the way through tax day <laughs> and to April 18th and only be so I guess. I'm into Top Step Trader about 250, and I've withdrew from Top Step Trader 1,078. So you can figure out the math on that. So uh, I'm going to have to put up, pony up another 150, uh, but I'm going to most likely. I I, I need a pro, I need to regroup. I mean the CL Fit strategy is working. Everything else I'm doing. Is, is I've noticed some things that I'm doing incorrectly that have caused me, and I, I've added some extra grief 
because of, of the superstitious nature that I am. And that's me. And please don't think I'm bitching at Top Step Trader because I'm not. I'm frustrated and I'm disappointed that that we couldn't have had a little bit of banter today. Um, you know, and it, them come back to me and say, you have to do this to do that. Um, I, I'm, I'm relieved to be out of the devil account. I'm relieved to be out of the number of the beast account. For better or for worse, I didn't want to be in it. Um, and that's where I'm going to stick with this. The, the trading strategy itself is intact. My CL pit inventory strategy is, is still hands down the best thing I got that keeps me in the game. It would have kept me in the game. Best case scenario right now, I would have been down like a thousand bucks uh, coming into the rest of the, the month. So I still would have been in the red no matter how you sliced and diced today. Um, down about a thousand, a thousand fifty to eleven hundred. So I would have made back some of my loss, but I wouldn't have made back enough to. Uh, I think I would have been around down about a thousand, roughly, after the smoke cleared today, with everything being equal. Um, it's hard to trade in the red. It's hard to trade when you're down. And it makes you do things that you would not necessarily do if you are in a winning situation where you have your confidence level is a little bit higher. Your trade selection is usually a little bit better. Um, and things type start to compound negatively when you're in the red. So what I can take away from this is that I was able to pull money away get something off my vision board, play on their money pretty much for all of this year so far up to April and only be in to them about 250 out of the like 1100 that I've taken out from them. So um, market conditions are obviously not in a short traders frame of mind um, and not in the short side frame of mind. I've tried to work my strategy so that I could capture more longs and I'm honestly still working on that. That's that's the point. Do would I, If I would open up an account right now and a futures account of 5,000 bucks, could I keep it or would I lose more money? And Honestly, I don't have an answer for that. Well, the answer is is that if the market was starting to trade down, I'd make a lot more money. Right now, I'm I'm not I'm just not in tune with 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 some of the things that are going on. Although there are things inside with the volume that I've noticed in the up move that if I apply it just just a hair bit differently, I can stay inside of a trade or turn it around and, 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 and do better with what the trade situation is. So uh, outside of the inventory trade, the inventory trade is my bread and butter. And it's the one that more times than not wins a combine, wins an FTP, and it wins the funded account as well. Some of the other trading that I do comes down to, you know, maybe next time I get in the funded account, I don't trade anything but Wednesdays or Thursdays or whenever the inventory report comes out until I build up a good base and then allow myself a little bit more discretion to take the trade on since hopefully I'd be in the black as opposed to being in the red. And then if I lose money, then go back to just taking on the inventory trade, that one day a week trade, and then stay in the practice account. That's kind of where my mind's heading right now. The trade, you know, the, the combine aggressively, the trade FTP aggressively, and then when I get in the real money account, stay in the practice account on the others, and only trade the real money account 
until I build up a good base and then allow myself to, uh, to start trading with the real money. So in other words, allow myself to be ahead in the game and in the black, you know, maybe 15, 2,000 bucks up before I take on, you know, taking a, a day of trading in real money account outside of my inventory trading strategy. That's where I am right now. That's where my thought process has been. Um, I haven't, you know, and, and let me be completely honest here, like guys, I haven't been staying on top of everything that's been uh, coming to, you know, you guys making comments and all. And honestly, I haven't been, I have, I've had a hard time getting up. I've had a hard time. You, you have no idea how much stress this has put on me to trade this 666 account. It really put some an undue stress amount on me that I wasn't happy with. I pretty much begged them to switch my account number, just anything. But even if they would have switched my account number, in my head, I would have still felt like I'm a failure because I couldn't trade the 666 account. So, um, you know, like there should be no 13th floor. It's sometimes when you used to go on an elevator. I don't think that someone's a Christian should be assigned a number that they disagree with. And, you know, from this point, I told them real quick, that I won't trade another account that has a six on the end of it. So that's where my 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 foot in, and I'm going to step down on it. And I want to say, you know, I don't like the number six, and I shouldn't have to trade anything that has to do with a six. And you can call me stupid. You can call me idiotic. You know, bottom line, I'm superstitious. I say things and knock on wood. You know, I try not to jinx uh, a player by saying, oh, he's been a perfect uh, this, that, and the other. Uh, he hasn't thrown an intercept. Like if you're in a watching a football game, you hear an announcer say, he's made 40 out of the last 40 attempts. And the next thing, boom, he shanks it and misses it. So Murphy's Law kicks in, right? Um, it's the superstitious nature that I am, and I am, and... I, I was not a happy camper. Bottom line, I'm kind of glad to be back where I have to work my way back into funded. Uh, I just wish that that none of this would have happened to start with. It's been one hell of a year, though. It's been a good year overall. It's not been fun for the last eight trading days in the funded account. I did not like, I I, disp I just hated it. I, I, honest to God, hated it. I mean, there was days, guys, that I slept to 11, 11.30. That's how depressed I was uh, about all of this shit that was going on. It's not, it's not who I am. It's not. I don't you I don't let things get under my skin, but I let this get under my skin. I let this affect my breathing. I allowed this to to and I became a product of my own emotional superstition. It is what it is. You yeah, devil one, I lost. Devil one, David zero. You know, and you know, and, and don't put the Lord your God to the test, right? So as much as I wanted to win this day and win it for God, you know, Jesus said, don't put the Lord your God to the test. And if something you disagree with, you shouldn't have to do something that that goes against your religious belief in that sense, right? And my belief is that, you know, I don't, I don't particularly care for some things. And I know it sounds like it some excuses, but all I can tell you is look at where the market closed yesterday. It closed at 6666. This is Dave Knight here at 123daytrade.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. I'll see you on the next video I put together. Uh, We'll take the next few days off. 
as much as I don't want to. I will uh, pay my $150 fee or whatever the hell it is now on Sunday sometime to get the or Monday whenever to get access to the, the combine again. 